are two humble heroes! What? You think this is a game? No, I think Jenga's a game. I'm even greater than I thought I was! And now to fulfill my destiny! Because I've got a secret weapon. Awesomeness. Welcome back, my sexy people. Thank you for once again joining me for another Paragon Hero Tutorial. Today's hero of choice is Richter. This video will have two parts. Richter in left lane for the first part, and Richter in right lane as support for the second part. Now Richter is a versatile character and can play both parts, so I will show you how to do this and how I personally have done it with the decks I have used. Stay tuned for some awesome Richter footage. Now the first half, like I said, will be Richter left lane, and in the second half I'm going to do another match where I'm going to be playing Richter as support. So in this video I aim to show you how Richter is an excellent left laner. Richter is a character that you want to take your time with and is a mid to late game excellent character. Early game you definitely want to, like I said, take it easy and not rush it too much or it will result in lots of deaths for you. So what I equipped it on to start is our Sage's Ward because when you're in left lane you always want a ward to alert you if any enemies are coming up or trying to sneak up on you. Now the first ability we're going to go with is Electrocute. It's an Aura 104.5 currently damage it does. So we're going to drop our ward here. And the reason we're choosing this is because when we're taking out minions, it does an additional Aura of damage to the minions that you're attacking. Alright, so it does look like we have only one character to face left lane, and it is going to be this Greystone. So what it's looking like is Greystone doesn't look too anxious to get into battle and start a head-on combat with me. And I feel the same way about him. I'm going to try and keep him at distance, not attack him because in a battle Richter versus Greystone, Greystone will most likely always win. He does have a much better attack, but Richter is still going to put up one hell of a fight for him. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick our second ward, once we have the chance, up to the gold buff. First blood. So the only reason we're getting our minions down faster is because we're using our aura, but it is draining our mana considerably more than his. As you see, he still has a surplus of mana compared to what we have left. So again, like I said, we don't want to push too deep into his territory because it will end bad for us. As you see, there's a mortgage yeah. running up. Right. So we did give her a quick stun. And what we're going to do is we're going to retreat. An enemy tower is under attack. Alright, so Greystone did do the same thing we did. He took off to go heal, restore his mana, spend some card points. Now, we didn't spend any card points on our first trip back because we didn't have as many as we needed for our armor. So, with Richter, our armor is very important because it allows us to take more hits, be stronger, and also allows us to uh, survive in the battle a lot longer. Now, if we're taking a look at Greystone, he's using a Mad Stone gem at the moment. So it's, a, it's also a very good choice, and uh, if we were Fury, we could definitely stack some uh, stone gems. But like at, at this moment, our best option is not to go with any sort of power, but to build our wards for our protection, and then for armor for our defense. So what we're doing right now is we're teleporting back, we're going to grab our armor, toss it on really quickly, and head back out to defend our lane. So throw on a tampered plate. Man is all healed up, and we're heading back to left lane. So what we want to do is we don't want to use our chain pull yet, because we want to wait till we have our ultimate. Now once we have our ultimate, we're going to be able to stun him inside the tower. Uh. 
Alright, so, um, we died there because Morgesh got us, however, I don't, oh, that's what happened. Alright guys, so what happened is Morgesh actually marked us early, if you guys remember. She never actually remarked anyone because she was waiting for us to get low oh. enough to kill us. So she actually was playing the long game there, well played on her part, because I didn't even see her, I didn't know where she was. But she definitely didn't waste her mark again on anyone uh, and like use it on us to be able to time. take that kill. Alright, so we're at eight and a half minutes, almost nine minutes here. Uh, not looking too bad. Lost the first tower, but that's alright. Like I said, I usually like to wait as long as possible, but you know, almost nine minutes is a really good time for losing left lane first tower. So I'm going to drop a ward. So we are out of mana, Greystone's charging. What we're gonna do is we're gonna retreat because we are gonna get messed up really quickly as if we don't. So because we do have one mobility, we are really slow and that causes us to fall slow enough for them to actually can't catch up to us and end up killing us. Now, again, two deaths. I'm still not too worried about. Richter is a character that you can have six deaths, no kills, and you'll still be able to make it up late game. An enemy has been slain. If you take a look at our mini map, we see Morgash has gone from mid lane. Now, where would Morgash go? Most likely over into our lane to try and kill us. Now at level 8 we have the option to stack onto any one of our existing abilities. What I always put the most into is our electrocute because it just builds more and more power for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually head up here and take the gold buff before he has a chance to come back and grab it. And now he won't continue chasing us because he's got minions to deal with. So what we're going to do is we're going to teleport back. We still have 9 points to spend. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend a point on our greater guard. The next thing we're, we're going to do is get our Elder Mage Amulet. Now we're going to get the Elder Mage and we're going to throw a 1 onto our strike, build up our power. Then we're going to head back left. Alright, so we definitely get, did get trapped by enemies there. We almost had Richter. We almost, my apologies, we almost had Greystone down. However, he still had his ultimate. But it looks like Fang Mao is going to go for the kill. An ally has been slain. Alright, we took him out. However, we're missing an enemy. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to teleport back because we have seven points to spend. So we're going to go toe to toe with Greystone, see how he fares. Go! 
Alright, that was a good escape on his part. So we're going to finish up this lesser health, and then put us on one more, and head back out. So what we're going to do, because they're coming up from behind us, we're actually going to escape through their tower. And run across the map. Perfect. So we managed to push the lane. No interference, no worries, we got away. So guys, when you guys are running away from left lane, right lane, even like a mid lane push, you never want to run straight back because you'll always have enemies come straight up trying to get you. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to switch lanes, push left or right, run straight across the map and then back down because they're less likely to expect it that way. So let's go bug this Seraph and see if she wants to fight or not. Let's block her from attacks. Now her attack is a lot stronger, however, we have a lot of armor, so she will not be able to take us out very easily. Perfect, so we got her. She's dead. Definitely with a lot of help from Faze. So it's good to go. So we're gonna give her a good old thanks for the help. Alright, so it looks like Sarah's coming up to us. Let's use our ward. Let's drop another one over here. We're gonna get out of here because, like I said, when you're facing an enemy deep in their territory, it's a lot easier for them to send people up behind you, in front of you, beside you, and it's just a lot easier to get trapped. And as I said in my previous video, if it feels like a trap in Paragon, it probably is. So the next card we're going to throw on is actually Thunder Cleaver. Then we throw on Thunder Cleaver, we're going to throw on our Minor Connect. We're going to increase our attack speed. So we're going to do is we're actually going to see if it's possible. Alright! Not possible, let's run! Oh. Alright, so... Our phase definitely did help us out, and if you are trying to help someone, a follow me ping is always very useful to let them know, hey, I'm coming to help you, come my way, right? Because sometimes people run away from you as you're trying to help them. So we're going to head back left lane, guys. An enemy has been slain. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do our best to actually push this An tower and insane. inhibitor to see if we're able to get it down. Now, we may not be able to, but we definitely want to screw them up as much as possible. Alright guys, we've made it under the inhibitor now. We're going to do our best to drop it. Looks like we will be able to take it down thanks to them luring the enemies off for long enough. 
Excellent. Enemy inhibitor has been dropped, guys. Left lane, we are killing it. Purple buff, always great. So, what we're gonna do with this purple buff is we're gonna go kill Revenant. Alright, so she took her kill again. Very disappointing, but we're gonna head back and spend our points now. The power of the orb is So we're gonna do is we're gonna ult these minions. The enemy core is under attack. And we managed to save the, the tower with that ultimate. Now I don't always recommend using your ultimate for minions, but when we were able to do it to save the tower, it's definitely worth it. And guys, that's the end of the video. So this is how I demonstrated how Richter can be used left lane. Now we all didn't come out with a positive KD ratio, but we did come out, crush the left lane, because of it we were able to win the match. Super good match, I mean I have bad matches, I have great matches, I've had better matches than this with Richter in left lane. Richter, like I said, is an absolute just monster. If you can master Richter and if you can actually get the hang of him, he's a phenomenal character to have. So, like I said, I highly recommend him. In the next part of this video, guys, what we're going to be showing is Richter as a support. So, guys, as you see, we're doing a Richter support right. What we're going to do is we're going to choose my Richter 2 deck, or <clears throat> my apologies, my Richter 1 deck. And the Richter 1 is almost the same, except it also has a tuned barrier. For extra defense. So guys, in the first half of the video, we chose our first ability to be Electrocute. This one we're going with Riplash. That way we can pull them back, and then with Yin, she can just basically annihilate them as much as possible. So in the first so if we take a look at my Richter deck, you'll notice that it's a very similar to my first one, except we threw on a tuned barrier. So that way if we're going with if we're going against an enemy who's very ability heavy, we're able to withstand a lot more punishment so Yin can get in and smash him up real good. Alright, perfect. So this is going to work out well, considering we now have a Morgesh to go against. Now, tower is under attack. now the only problem with this is we have to be able to land our whole flash. Now we're going to throw in our Electrocute just to be able to do more damage if we're able to pull our Morgesh in. So now as it's seeing, we have two enemies right, two enemies left, and one enemy mid. They don't have a jungler because we're pushing so hard, they're not able to actually have Wukong in the jungle. Alright, so we're going to throw in our Tempered Plate, so we're able to stand more minion damage, as well as more damage from Moriash's basic attack, 
and Wukong because he seems to be a present threat in our lane. See, this is exactly why I prefer Richter over other supports because you can play him as a support or a lane defender. Alright, so the tower is gonna fall. We're gonna head out because we don't want to be there when the tower does fall. Because Wukong's got it surrounded, we're gonna take too much damage from his clones. So our Grux is getting totally screwed up right now because they they attacked him in the jungle. The tower is under attack. Get out of here because Morgesh is here and we can't take on a Morgesh end phase as we have learned. Now we're going to teleport, head back, and spend our five points. Attack! 
after we kill these minions. Okay, guys, that was awesome. That right there, gonna be my starting clip for the video because we just triple killed with Gideon's ultimate. Alright guys, now we're gonna drop a second inhibitor. Alright guys, so that was me playing Richter as a support. Now as you saw, the best one that came out of that was that triple kill where I ulted them in Gideon's ultimate so they were stunned even though they're invisible and they had no chance to escape. It was an awesome combination, the Gideon and Richter combo. Even working with the Yin, I managed to provide her with lots of kills. I mean, we did still have a rocky start, but it worked out really well in the end. So I hope you guys did enjoy the two-part video of Richter left and Richter right. Thanks again guys for watching my videos and checking out some sweet Paragon gameplay. If you enjoyed the videos, make sure you drop me a like and as usual, stay sexy.